To the house this morning, just start by giving him his act. Praise God. Jesus. As you enter into the house, give him praise. Start with your hallelujah. We're still going to go back to the worship. We're still going to go back to the worship. Tonight is a special night. And I really hope you're ready. The Lord will do that. Which no man can do. to him. Oh, not so. Oh, the glory. Oh, 
Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your voice. Ask the Lord, empower me, Lord, empower me. Empower me, O Lord. Empower me, O Lord. Empower me, O Lord. Empower me. Empower me, empower me, empower me, Lord, empower me. Yes, 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 yes. Empower me. I must not leave the prayer out at tonight the same way that I came. Empower me, Jesus. Empower me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, I must not leave the same way that I came. Empower me, Lord. Empower me. Empower me. I must not live the same way that I came. Empower me, Lord. Empower me. Lift up your voice. That visit me with great grace. Visit me, Lord. With great grace. Yes. That visits me with great grace. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lord, visit me with great grace. I cannot do it by myself. Visit me. I cannot do it. I cannot do this by myself. Visit me with great grace. Visit me, O Lord, with great grace. Visit me. O Lord, please. With great grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the Lord show up for us in your power. Yes, yes, yes. Show up, show up. Show up for us. In your power. Show up for us in your power. Show up for us in your power. Now, if you're happy that you're in the house tonight, can I just say, you say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. If you can remember one of the things that he has ever done in your life, just say to him, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Tonight is not business as usual. Tonight is a war room one night. And guess what? Tonight is the covenant of salt. Tonight is the covenant of salt. And we will not waste time to go into the business of the day. But I want you to first of all give him thanks that we are before him this morning. Give him thanks. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. He's an awesome God and he's too faithful to fail. He's too faithful to fail. So enter his gifts with thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. For his mercies endures forever. Give thanks to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. For he is good, and his mercies endure it forever. Hallelujah. Now, I 
Appreciate the Lord for all the things he has ever done in your life. Thank him for the testimonies that will happen for you tonight. Be specific. Say, Lord, I thank you for my testimonies of tonight. So that he will know you know you are about to testify. The devil will also know that you, that you know. Thank you, Jesus, for my testimonies of tonight. Amen. Now thank the Lord for the nation you have found yourself. And because you have thanked the Lord for that nation, peace shall remain the portion of the nation. Lift up your voice. Thank the Lord for Faith Giants Fellowship worldwide. Thank the Lord for upholding us. Thank the Lord for keeping us. Tonight is the last night in the second leg of the fast. Once again, rededicate your life to Jesus. Because that might be the only thing that the devil might hold on to to say. That you're not qualified to rededicate your life to the Lord. That I rededicate, I rededicate my life to you. Rededicate your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. May I congratulate you tonight? Because already your testimony has begun. The first testimony is that you're on the prayer altar tonight. The devil could not hold you down with the weapon of sleep. And that's also your first sacrifice. You have given up your sleep to be on the prayer altar tonight. Congratulations. The covenant of salt, incidentally, is mentioned three times in scripture. Three times. The first one is in Numbers. The first one I'm bringing out is in Numbers 18, 19. He said, all your heave offerings of the holy things which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord. Have I given thee and thy sons and thy daughters with thee by the statue forever? It is a covenant of salt forever before the Lord unto thee and to thy seed with thee. Now, I want you to notice something there. He said, it is a covenant of sorts. Ha, huh? forever. Forever, forever, forever. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I want to show you the next one. The next one. That the word, the covenant of salt, came in scripture. And every oblation of thy meat offering thou shalt season with salt. Neither salt shall suffer the salt of the covenant. Neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering. With all thy offerings that thou offer salt. That's the second one, where I saw the covenant of salt. Now, 
The third one shall be our anchor scripture for tonight. The third one is our anchor scripture for tonight. And the third one is from Second Chronicles chapter number 13 and verse 5 where the Bible says, Ought you not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and his son, by a covenant of salt. There is something about the number three when scriptures are involved. Three is the number of completeness. Three is the number of Trinity. Can I hear someone say Trinity? Meaning that three is the number of God. Hallelujah. Three is the number of God. There's a song I want you to sing with me tonight. As you're singing it, be smiling. <laughs> because the mystery tonight... Listen to me. Let's sing, first of all. That song says, It must be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. Hallelujah. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Hey, what the Lord has done for me. I believe it's permanent. The mystery of the covenant of salt is the mystery of making your testimonies permanent. That is why everything you see, it will add what? Forever. Forever is added to everything that is being talked about when the covenant of salt is involved. You will see where the Bible, where you will say things like, forever praise the lord the forever aspect of it is what will ensure that even your past testimonies that look as if it come and later it went away shall be restored and it will be permanent in the name of jesus hallelujah the bible said something very profound in matthew chapter number five and verse 13 in Matthew 5, 13, the Bible made us to understand that you are the salt. You are the salt. Hallelujah. Not just the salt, but you are the salt of the earth. This morning, you're going to take the first confessional when it has to do with salting. Because the Bible had already says that you are the salt of the earth, but, the, but if the salt loses its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It shall henceforth be good for nothing, and be cast out, and be trodden under the foot of men. So I need you to lift up your voice now, and begin to say it. I am the salt of the earth. Begin to repeat it. I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. That is the first confession you are taking. I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. Now, take it to your children. Yes, my children, they are the salt of the earth. They are the salt of the earth. Yes, yes, yes. I am the salt of the earth. My husband is the salt of the earth. Yes, we are the salt of the earth. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice tonight. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Tonight is not like other nights. Tonight is the night you understand what you are and say it for everybody to hear. I am the salt of the earth. 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 From our anchor scripture, you will find out that it was a forever matter that God handed over the throne 
to David and his dynasty. Hallelujah. It was a forever matter. That is permanent blessings. Permanent blessings. Hallelujah. Permanent blessings. After tonight, permanent blessings remains your portion. Permanent blessings remains your portion. We are the salt of the earth. We are the salt. We are the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. We are the salt of the earth. 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 What are the significance of salt? Children of God. Salt adds taste. Is a taste bringer. Every tastelessness in your life, by the reason of the salt covenant tonight, has come to an end. Lift up your voice. Say it with me. Every tastelessness in my life, every tastelessness in my home, every tastelessness in my business, every tastelessness in my ministry, by the reason of the salt covenant tonight, an end has come to them. Yes. An end, an end, an end, an end, an end, an end. An end has come to every tastelessness in your life. An end has come to every tastelessness in your home. An end has come to every tastelessness in your business. An end has come to every tastelessness in your ministry. An end has come to it. Melo Sagarusha. Relish. Bible says, chapter number 9 and verse 15, the Bible says, salt is good, but if the salt has lost its saltiness, wherewith shall you season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace one with another. Salt is a peace bringer. When you have salt in yourselves, he said, have salt in yourselves. Have salt in yourselves. I hope your salt is by your side. Like mine is by my side. I hope yours is by your side. Because after tonight, nobody can explain your love, your, your joy. Nobody can explain the mystery of your joy. Yes. After tonight, you're going to enter into a season of laughter. You're going to enter into a season where you sit back and you laugh at the devil. You laugh at the devil. Child of God, practice your laughter. Laugh at the devil. Laugh at the devil. Laugh at the devil. Child of God, laugh. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Laugh at the devil. Amen. Laugh at the devil. Do you know that once in the history of the earth, salt was used as a sign of the rich? It's only rich people that had access to salt. Roman soldiers then were sometimes paid in salt. 
which is where the word salary comes from. Hallelujah. That is where the, the word salary came from. Child of God. By the reason of the salt covenant tonight, every agenda of poverty in your life shall be frustrated forever. Every agenda of poverty by the reason of the salt covenant shall be frustrated forever. He shall be frustrated forever. He shall be frustrated forever. He shall be frustrated. Every agenda of poverty in your home, every agenda of poverty in the lives of our spouses, every agenda of poverty in the lives of our children, every agenda of poverty in our businesses, by the reason of the salt of an tonight, they shall be frustrated forever. They shall be frustrated forever. They shall be frustrated forever. Hear me? Poverty is wicked. In fact, it's more wicked than the devil. <laughs> Poverty has no respect for even anointing. Because when poverty is speaking in the life of a man, you can be preaching and jumping and the shoe and soul will decide to divide themselves on the pulpit. Poverty is no respecter of anointing. Mm -hmm. So you need to react now. Say it to me. Every general of poverty on my path, by the reason of the salt covenant, it is aborted. 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 It is aborted forever in the name of Jesus. Masakitans Yongo. Ereto Zale Kedebosha. Bible say have salt in you. Have salt in you. If you don't know what you carry, child of God, you will miscarry. You will miscarry. But that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Yaka. You turn to lege de sagute. Erota to to zakada galandarabo. Rale shale ta rogo do dos yondorogodo. Ele de rege dos ya late kerebo tan dedo. Salt is a weapon. It is a weapon, child of God. It is a weapon. Bible says, the years that the palmer worm and canker worm has eaten, I will restore. So it means that the place of worms has its own devourer agenda. When you take salt and you put salt upon um, a worm, it shreds it. It just cuts it into pieces. Amen. By the reason of the salt covenant tonight, every devourer on your path shall be shredded. They shall be shredded. They shall be shredded. I want you to lift up your voice and say it with me. By the reason of the salt covenant, the devourer shall be shredded for my sake. The devourer shall be shredded for my sake. The devourer shall be shredded for my sake. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice, child of God, and does it, and does it, and does it. The devourer shall be shredded for my sake. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Agarusa la gadandara satara gadusa teka. Irosa da le tose geboshe. Izende de bosa da gadante. Rulendo sadiki. Ilento kira bata. Iradiga la da zosi. Ralandara gabasata. Salt is very essential for life. Just as salt is essential for life, in very large quantities, it kills. It kills. So, salt is a double-edged weapon point of contact. 
We all know that our Father is always operating the double edge anointing. How did I know? The same fire that preserved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego killed the people that threw them into the fire. The same fire. Double edge. Double edge. No wonder he's the lion and he's the lamb. He's a loving father. He's the consuming fire. Even the, the, the sword, the flaming sword that protects Eden is double-edged. Daddy is double-edged. The same Red Sea that parted for the Israelites to pass swallowed the Egyptians. The same Red Sea. The same Red Sea. The same Red Sea. The same path to victory was the same path to do to the enemies of the Israelites. Double-edged. Salt is very needful for life, but in big quantities, it can kill. Salt is a double-edged weapon. The same den of lions that ensured that Daniel was safe it was that same day that tore to pieces the conspirators against Daniel. That same day. Now hear me. By the mystery of this covenant tonight, the Lord will make a way for you that will swallow up every enemy of your testimony. By the mystery of the salt tonight, the Lord will make a way for you and that same way will swallow up every enemy of your testimony. Masakusi, Koshata, Ilekonte, Izi, Yagasusu, Yasati, Ireta, Kalunda, Roparia, Releta, Suteke, Bosata. It is a double-edged weapon. It is a double-edged weapon. It is a double-edged weapon. Hallelujah. It is a double-edged weapon. Hallelujah. Makato telenge se de bosha. Romba lento ruka lenta sunte de kebo. Rale sharabo karande irote. Eregadase. Hallelujah. Salt is a preserver. Is a preserver. Because of the preserving uh, qualities of salt, it is even used. To mummify bodies. It is used to mummify bodies. When you use salt to mummify bodies, they don't decay. They don't decay. Every testimony that the Lord has given to you, that looks as if it is decaying. By the reason of this covenant tonight, oh, your testimony is preserved. Your joy is preserved. Your victory is preserved. Your rising is preserved. Every agenda of the enemy to frustrate your rising by the reason of this salt covenant tonight, it is aborted. Once I had the story of a family. This family was struggling with poverty. They had this young, beautiful daughter growing. And um, one day, in the course of the girl going about her assignment, a young prince from a very wealthy background came in contact with her and ran home and said, I have seen the girl I will marry. The family was very happy. The young prince came into their lives and started changing their lives. Everything was put in, in place. They started working towards their wedding. It was time for them to travel abroad to do their wedding shopping. The parents had come to see the parents of this young lady. They left and they went back. That evening in their hotel room, 
one of their neighbors went, knocked at the hotel room. They opened the door. And he said, I heard your son wants to marry so, 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 and so person. In excitement, they said, yes, such a beautiful family, such a beautiful girl. And she said to the parents, I want you to know that that girl has had over 12 abortions. This family entered into horror. And hear me, it was a lie. It was a lie. But the wickedness of the wicked came to abort their testimony. By the reason of this salt covenant, child of God, your testimony will be preserved. Your testimony will be preserved. Your testimony will be preserved. Your testimony will be preserved in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the wicked to stop your testimony. Every agenda of the wicked to abort your testimony by the reason of the salt covenant tonight. That agenda backfires on the enemy. It 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 backfires on the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It is your season and nothing can stop you. Take it from me. Basukere Gadashia. It is possible to ward off evil and deter unwanted strangers by sprinkling salt or spreading salt. It's a general belief that when you put salt around your house, witches can no longer operate. They will not be able to come. And that is the reason why you have to operate in the know of what you're doing. You have to operate in the know of what you're doing. I heard that this POP, that's plaster of Paris, that is used when bones are broken. I heard that one of the ingredients used to prepare it is salt. And I heard that why salt is added is that it has some healing properties that put together the bone and brings them together and makes it strong. Hear me. By the reason of this old covenant tonight, every broken thing in your life shall be put together. Every broken good thing. Every broken good thing in your life. It shall be put together. 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 In the name of Jesus, every broken good thing in your life shall be put together again. Every broken good thing in your life shall be put together again. Every broken good thing in your life shall be put together again. In the name of Jesus. Is it your relationships? It shall be put together. Is it your finances? It shall be put together. It shall be put together again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every broken good thing shall be put together again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Maros is the Asokata. Etere da laga zazodoria. Man da gushare gerebo taladasi. Rededesia. Oh, child of God. I don't know what is broken in your life, but by the reason of this covenant, it shall be put together. 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 It shall be put together in the name of Jesus. Sasoka tatala katuntu. Iretante lege zozo doroto lege basia. Anywhere they have closed the door against you. After tonight, it shall be opened. It shall be opened. It shall be opened. It shall be opened. It shall be opened 
in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Everything that belongs to you that has been taken away. Oh, child of God, by the reason of the sword's covenant tonight, it shall be returned. It shall be returned. It shall be returned. It shall be returned. Have they taken away your husband? It shall be returned. Have they taken away your favor? It shall be returned. Have they taken away your property? It shall be returned. Have they taken away your children? It shall be returned. Whatever belongs to you that has been held hostage by the devil tonight, it shall be returned. You will wonder, how can they take away my husband? Child of God, let me say something to you. Ah, generational causes can take away anything from a person. When they put somebody's name in an evil altar and say, this one, no, no husband. Child of God, you will be struggling and moving on. They say, this one, no, no children. You will be struggling and moving on. Except the power of God breaks it. Hear me? They say, this one, no, favor shall not come to his path. You will be struggling and moving on. They say, this one, no, he cannot achieve anything. You, you, you will find out that it will look as if everybody your age, they have acquired properties, you have none. Child of God, by the reason of this sort covenant, everything that belongs to you, that has been taken away, it shall be returned. It shall be returned. It shall be returned. It shall be returned. In the name of Jesus Christ, that God Lord pass your car, Urata. In Tale, in Lagatu, Sataragaduncia, in the name of Jesus. There are city gates. There are gates, child of God. Until the gate of the city accepts you. Child of God, things will never go the way you want them to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at times you find out that these gates need to open for you. Gates need to open for you. Hmm. Hallelujah. But sometimes you find out that sometimes you find out that even when these gates are opened, many adversaries come. It's even in the scripture. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me. And there are many adversaries. Ah, child of God. Every adversary at your gate is going down by the reason of the salt. By the reason of the salt covenant. Those adversaries, they are going down. They are going down. Yes. The gates of the city shall be opened to us by the reason of the salt covenant. The earth will accept us. The, the city shall accept us. There are many people. They are doing everything correct. They know what they are doing. But they look around. Even people that don't know what they are doing is doing better than them. The gates of the city has not opened to you. By the reason of the salt covenant tonight, <clears throat> we shall be accepted in the land. We shall be accepted in the land. The gates of the city shall be open to us. Lift up your voice. Ah, call the name of your business. Decree and declare. The gates of the city shall open to us. Yes, so Faith Giants Fellowship Worldwide. The gates of nations shall open to you. The gates of the city, the land will accept you. Vision loved, the land will accept you. The gates of the city shall be open to you. 
Humanity Development Initiative. The gates of the city shall be opened to you. The land will accept you. In the name of Jesus, O.J. Uloma, the gates of the city shall be opened to you. The land will accept you. In the name of Jesus, child of God, lift up your voice. Mention your name. Ask the gate of the city to open the land of the city to accept you. In the name of Jesus. Our God is no respecter of persons. The same God over all is rich unto all that call upon him. The thing is, have you called? Whatever is out of control shall be under control from today. Witches shall no longer prevail over you. Your life shall be sweet and the devourer shall be shredded for your sake. By the mystery of this old covenant, your freedom from reproaches is guaranteed. Your freedom from the reproaches is guaranteed. Wherever you are, hear me? Under the sound of my voice. Every pit around you shall be covered. By the reason of this salt covenant, every pit around you shall be covered. 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 Shall be covered. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the mystery of this covenant, I command your destiny to receive restoration. I command your destiny to receive restoration. I command your business to receive restoration. I command your home to receive restoration. I command all our spouses to receive restoration. I command our children to receive restoration. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We shall be restored. We shall be restored. Love kids Montessori. We shall be restored. Oh yes. Gareka do Sotorianda. Blessing zone. Yekatasia. The gates of the city is opening to you. The gates of nations is opening to you. Gega mountain of favor. The gates of the city is opening for you. The gates of nation is opening for you. In the name of Jesus, by the mystery of this covenant, I command your destiny to receive restoration. In the name of Jesus. Hear me? Hmm. Something is shifting. If you believe that something is shifting for you tonight, can I hear you say, I love you, Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. Scriptures cannot be broken. God cannot lie. Hallelujah. One of the traditions of the Jewish people during weddings is that the spouse takes salt in the hand, pours, it, pours a little bit of the salt in the hand of the man, and after the pronouncement, that salt will be poured back to the hand of the lady, and they will say that this marriage cannot be separated except the different salts that was in the hands of the different people can be separated. Now the question is, can you separate salt from salt? If you pour salt together now, can you separate them? You cannot. By the mystery of this covenant, every home that is about to be separated comes together in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Sicknesses shall bow to this covenant of salt. Disgrace shall bow to this covenant of salt. Confusion shall bow to this covenant of salt. Childlessness shall bow to this covenant of salt. Shame shall bow to this covenant of salt. Stagnation shall bow to this covenant of salt. Impossibilities shall bow to this covenant of salt. Frustrations shall bow to this covenant of salt. Depression shall bow to this covenant of salt. Hallelujah. Marasia. Some of you will have to take a little bit of it, put it in water and drink it. And that sickness will disappear forever. 
I remember one of the first testimonies we ever had in Faith Giants. It was a meeting like this, and the Lord said to me that they should buy salt. And we prayed over the salt. One of the boys that were there that day got home and was feeling back pain. And the younger sister said, you said that you went for a program. They gave you salt there. Why don't you put it in water and drink? He put it in water and he drank it. In their family, there is this somnambulism attack on them. They walk in their sleep. And when they are walking in their sleep, they get to a wall. They hit their head on the wall until they have hemorrhage. And they fall and die. That night, a woman appeared to him, started calling him. He stood up and he said to the woman, can't you see that there is something different about me? That was what put an end to that demonic attack in that family. The guy drank from the salt that we had prayed on. This salt in your hands shall be a weapon of victory. In the face of battle, for you it shall be a weapon of victory. In the face of battle, for you it shall be a weapon of victory. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, child of God. You're going to be salting your shops, your offices. You're going to be salting your home. Let me say something to you. This season, your level will change by force. By the weapon of this covenant, your level will change in the name of Jesus. You will no longer beg to eat. As the Lord liveth, whatever has frustrated your life up until now shall be aborted by the reason of this salt covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the Lord leave it, whatever has frustrated your dreams, by the reason of this salt covenant, it shall be aborted. It shall be aborted. It shall be aborted. In the name of Jesus. You will not return the same way you came tonight. There is a shifting. There is a shifting. Hallelujah. I pray that the Holy Ghost anger will come upon you so that you will take all that belongs to you by force. Enough! Can someone say enough? Say it with me. Pado Segarasa. Let fire be released tonight. Let fire be released. Enough! Our God is no respecter of persons. The same God over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Now let me shock you. I'll show you something in the book of Ezekiel. I'll show you something in the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 16. And I'm going to read. I'm going to read 3 and 4. So that you will know that what you're doing is not just ordinary. The covenant of salt has the capacity to break generational causes. But said, and say, thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem, thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Remember that Canaan, they were idol worshippers. So he said, thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. <laughs> idol worshippers. Thy father was an Amorite, idol worshippers. Thy mother was an Hittite, idol worshippers. Remember, he's talking to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is what he's talking about. And he's saying all of this. In verse 4, he said, And as for thy nativity, in the day that thou was born, thy navel was not caught. Neither was thou washed in the water to supple thee. That was not salted at all. Can you imagine that? Now, when a child is in the womb, children of the Most High God, everything the child eats 
comes from the connection of the navel of the mother. So, if the Bible is saying that the day you were born, your navel was not cut, it means that the nutrients from the history of the idol worshipping was still entering into Jerusalem. When you are being told spiritually your navel has not been cut, it means that the things that were generational are still entering inside of you. There was a family I, I, I once knew about. They will get married. Marriage will be sweet. At a particular year, they will become divorced. And this was going from one generation to another. Child of God, for such a family, their navel has not been cut. Not just did it end there. He said you were not washed. That, that's the mystery of water. You were not washed in the water to support it. Hmm. Then he said that was not salted. Can you imagine? That was not salted. It means that the Bible in Mark 9.50 that says that you should have salt in you knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. You know another scripture says season your words with salt. Hey, child of God, tonight there will be a shift. Every generational harassment has come to an end. Enough! It cannot continue that way. Salt stops the effect of generational curses. It stops it. Every generational curses. Operational in your life. An end has come to their activities. By the mystery of this salt covenant tonight, you did not hear me. An end has come to their activities. An end has come to their activities. Some of them, I know one family, they say none of them will go to the university. And none of them was going home. Some of them, immediately they enter the higher part of the secondary school, they will drop out. Some will say, I don't feel like going to school again. And that was it. Things were happening. Some families, they have finished graduation 20-something years. No job. Everywhere they go to apply, they are the best. But they will never get the job. Enough. You did not hear me. What did I say? Enough. Tonight is not business as usual. Tonight, something must break for your sake. We can no longer continue to have it like that. The afflictions of our enemies must come to an end. Bible says that let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Our God is a powerful God. Once it was written, twice did we hear that all power belongs to him. Scriptures cannot be broken and our God cannot lie. Every agenda of the enemy around our path in life. Every agenda of the enemy around our destinies. Enough! By the reason of this sort of covenant. Some of you, they have said that never, you can never build a house. Ha! Enough, 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 enough. There are some people in their families, not even one of them has a property attached to them. Not one can boast, I bought a house. Not one can boast, I live in a good environment. Child of God, say with me, enough. Say it again, enough. Say it at that time, enough. It cannot continue this way. Something must shift. Something is shifting already. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready for action now? Child of God, are you ready? I'm sorry I'm dragging you a little. I hope I'm not dragging you too late. Oh, we're still in our time frame. But we have like eight minutes. But I hope that these eight minutes will be enough for what we want to do right now. <laughs> You need to be salted. You need to be salted. See, he said that he was not salted at birth. Just take a little bit of that salt. Take just a little, a pinch, a pinch, a pinch. Take a pinch. Pour it over yourself. Pour salt on yourself. Pour it a, a little. Pour just a little over yourself. Ah, say with me. Type it in endorsement. In the name of Jesus, by this covenant of salt, I declare every curse in my life, spoken or written from my fathers, 
or from my mother's lineage be broken and destroyed. Be broken and destroyed. Be broken and destroyed. Be broken and destroyed. Yes, yes, yes. It with me and say it very well. In the name of Jesus, I declare every curse in my life spoken or written from my father or my mother's lineage be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus na say the kada Beleta legedasa. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, by the reason of this thought confidence, I declare every curse in my life, spoken or written from my mother's or my father's lineage, be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Of Jesus hallelujah oh if you believe that there is something happening tonight in our midst can I hear you say I love you Lord <laughs> I love you Lord hmm it must be permanent I know it's permanent what the Lord has done for me I believe is permanent it must be permanent. I know it's permanent. What Baba has done in my life, I believe is permanent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are enjoying the prayers tonight? Can I hear you send away? Mokide de de ge de ge de Jutala Boleda Borosa gada jutia I said to some I said earlier for the people that were there I said Write the names of your loved ones That are not around you The ones that are in the house you can attend to them after the program But the ones that are not around, you need to write out their names. <laughs> Kai, your life will be sweet. The life of your loved ones will also be sweet. The devil has failed. Hallelujah. The devil has failed. Woefully, he didn't even fail a little. Now, if you have those names written out somewhere, take a little bit of the salt. Sprinkle it on those names. If you have their picture, sprinkle it on it. Say it with me. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I declare, by the reason of this salt covenant, my life shall be salted. The life of my loved ones shall be salted. My life shall be salted. The lives of my lo lo loved ones shall be salted. The life of my loved ones shall be salted. The life of my loved ones shall be salted. The life of my loved ones shall be salted. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know why I have this feeling in my spirit that some people are going to be having what you call instant testimonies. This weekend for some people shall be a weekend of laughter. It shall be a weekend of laughter. It shall be a weekend of laughter. This weekend, this weekend, this weekend, this weekend, 
for a lot of people shall be a weekend of laughter. I see the Lord doing something beautiful in your life. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus, by the reason of this salt covenant, the lives of my loved ones shall be salted. In the name of Jesus. Barossa. Now, if you have your children, your spouse, and everybody around you, after the vigil, you just take a little bit of the salt, even as they are sl sleeping, sprinkle it on them. Ah, their part in life shall be sweet. Yes, so their lives will be salted. When you say my life shall be salted, do you know you are saying a lot of things at the same time? You're talking about preservation. You're talking about, you're talking about a sweet life. You're talking about frustrating the agenda of the devourer. You're saying a lot of things at the same time. So when you're speaking on their life will be sorted. You call their names in full. You call your spouse's name in full. Your life shall be sorted. You call your children's name in full. Your life shall be sorted. Child of God, wisdom is profitable to direct. It is no longer agenda business as usual. No. Tonight, power has changed hands. Yes. Power has changed hands. But God, run to Zagbojete. You will testify to the glory of the living God. You know, some of you will say we didn't get information. It is because you're not on the WhatsApp chat plat platform. Yes. If you want to join the WhatsApp platform, it is plus 234 Plus 234 That's our WhatsApp. Uh, uh, that's WhatsApp prayer line. That's a WhatsApp 24 hours prayer line. Actually, 24 hours prayer line. Praise the Lord. So, in case you're already not on the platform, it is wisdom for you to join the platform so that you can always get information ahead of time. Are you there? How many of you are believing in the Lord for the Forthcoming. I hope your certificate is out. Bring out that certificate. How many of you have business certificates ready? Is that still that your business is calling and struggling? Enough, my God. Enough. 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 Jesus. I take care of you. Is a game of Sharati. Yes. Have you brought out those <coughs> those certificates? Are they out? Are they out? Did you bring them out? Child of God. Ah, there is a shift. There is not a shift. I hear the sound of abundance. You will not return the same way you came. Your testimonies shall be evidential. You will have reasons to say, I called upon the name of the Lord, that the Lord heard me, the Lord delivered me from all my shame. Oh, yes, yeah, this is the season that you will say that. This is the season. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter how long. All that matters is that the Lord has decided to step in. Every agenda of the enemy to frustrate anything that you are doing, child of God, that frustration can no longer work. That frustration can no longer work. Take another pinch of salt. Sprinkle it on that certificate. Sprinkle it on that <coughs> registration for your business. In case you don't have these things ready, pick up a Byron pen, write out the name of your business. Salt it, salt it, salt it, salt it. Ha 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 ha. Ega dalia, unzonte, ege legora, ibata, edegesete, ile, toto, sagarante. You're gonna pray. 
In the name of Jesus, Mase Duke Legosa. Brada Gande Legadoshe Legada. I hope you have taken the instruction already. Now say it with me. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> My business shall be salted. My business shall be salted. By the reason of this salt covenant, my business shall be accepted in the land. By the reason of this salt covenant, my business, the earth will open to it. In the name of Jesus, I shall be accepted. I shall be accepted. This business shall be accepted. Any connection that is broken, any hind anything hindering it from possessing a possession by the reason of this covenant i receive all my blessings back in the name of jesus i receive all the blessings this business needs back in the name of jesus any broken connection for my business they are coming back <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, I will possess my possessions. My business will possess their possessions. The, the, the gates of the city shall be opened to wait. In the name of Jesus, it shall be accepted in the city. It shall be accepted in the going out. It shall be accepted in the coming in. Wherever the name of my business is mentioned, it shall be accepted. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my business shall be sorted. Child of God, if you believe that, can I hear a threefold amen, amen, and amen? Then you add, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. I love you, Lord. Makara da 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 Ujelega. Mero dan de rege to rogotusu. Male karada zade. In the name of Jesus. I see something happening in your favor. I see something shifting in your favor. I see something shifting in your favor. I see something shifting in your favor. Child of God, you're not returning the same way you came. In the name of Jesus. Father, I decree that some of you, they have rejected your visas for a long time. They have rejected you stay in that particular country. Enough, 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 enough. You're already on the prayer altar. Don't lose focus. You can just highlight the things we are sorting so that after the prayers, you can bring your own out and you can sort them. Thank God that this is a live program so you can play it back to this particular timing and begin to sort them. So don't lose focus. Don't lose focus now. Stay on the altar. Stay on the altar so that we can get through. We can get through. Our time is already a little bit far spent. Amen. Praise God. How many of you want us to close right now? And uh, probably continue next time. Amen. Praise God. If you want us to continue, can I see your I love you Lord again? Can you say I love you Lord? Let me see you here. say, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, if you want us to continue, let me see you type your I love you, Lord, so that we shall be done very soon. We shall be done. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Now, you take a little bit of salt. In case you don't have an international passport, you write your name in full. How you will want it written on your passport. Yes, so because tonight, the people that don't have the national passport, they will have one. The ones that have it already, that passport will be filled with visas. The ones that are not living in the country and don't have stay, they are saying will arrive by force. In the name of Jesus. Now take it to people that's all. Sprinkle it. Yes. Salt that passport. Salt that passport. Let your passport be sorted. Let your passport be sorted. Let your passport be sorted. Ah! Nazi, my passport is sorted. Yes, so they get there, Katasanta. Gates of nations shall open for you. Gates of nations shall open for you. Gates of nations shall open for you. Gates of nations. Gates of nations. 
gates of nations shall open for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Leto, 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 gates of nations shall open for you, 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 in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Release the daddy. What thing like a dish? Child of God. People are still asking. What is the WhatsApp prayer line number? It's already written there. Plus two three four eight zero five eight four double six one zero one. Please let's concentrate on the prayer altar. Yes. Don't ask any question that is distracting us. Okay. That's the WhatsApp 24 hours prayer line. Let's not be distracted at this point. This is the point. This is the heat of the moment. This is the heat of the moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I see a lot of you. Jobs from everywhere. Doors opening. Ha 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 ha. Retaga the seed shall be broken forever. The seed shall be broken forever. Hey, can someone say my destiny must be sweet? Can someone say my destiny must be sweet? Can I say my destiny must be sweet? The destiny of my children must be sweet. The destiny of my spouse must be sweet. The destiny of my businesses must be sweet. The destiny of my ministry must be sweet. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Enough. Enough of the cries. I will not cry again. I will not cry. I will not cry. Every cry of frustration and depression is ending tonight. Yes, the only tear that comes on me now is the tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is our offering night and our covenant renewal now. But I want some of you to take a bolder step and do what you call a covenant of salt enacting seed. Hallelujah. Wisdom demands that it still comes in the place of 12. Maybe some of you, you can do 12,000. But if you cannot, you can still continue with your 1,200. Now, I want you to write whatever it is you're doing as your seed. Write it down on a paper. Then, take any denomination of money around you. Still put it on top of that paper. You're about to sort your money. Child of God, your finances will be preserved. No more will you not know what you have done with your money. Enough! From now on, money will meet money in your hand. Money will no longer insult you. Can someone say, my financial life shall be sweet? Ah, can someone say my financial life shall be sweet? My financial life shall be sweet. My financial life shall be sweet. I will no longer be confused when money is involved. I will no longer be confused when money is involved. Enough, 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 enough. Now, take a little bit of salt in your hand. Ha 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 Some of you, if you don't have cash around you, bring out your ATM. Put it there. Child of God, we must sort everything. The devil has failed. Ah, the devil made a mistake this time around. The devil made a mistake. He made a mistake this time around. And the mistake the devil made is that he waited for you to come on this particular altar. After tonight, everything that is working against you will begin to work for you. After tonight, everything that is working against you, what did I say? It will begin to work for you. Hear me, child of God. Our God 
is no respecter of persons. The same God over all is rich unto all that call upon him. And that is why we are here. Every agenda of the enemy against your life. An end has finally come to their activities. An end, an end, an end has finally come to their activities. In the name of Jesus. Are you there? Take a little bit of salt. Patakara, incende, igabo, shelegere, erato, egatata, legedusa, dale, iregedo, sonderabo, saga. Lift up your voice. Say with me. In the name of Jesus, by the reason of the salt covenant tonight, my finances shall be salted. My finances shall be salted. My finances shall be salted. Ah, my financial identity is sorted. My identity is sorted. Oh, my finances shall be sorted in the name of Jesus. Sakatale de 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 I de 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 if you believe it, can I hear you shout hallelujah? If you believe what the Lord is doing for you tonight, can I hear you shout hallelujah? Praise the Lord. Hear me, let me say something to you. In those days when we were growing up, there were some clothes that they would want to wash. They will put them in water and they will add salt and they will not use a detergent to wash it. And when you ask them why, why is this being done this way? They will tell you it's because the salt prevents the clothes from fading. These clothes, they fade fast. Now what is clothing to you? Clothing is a weapon of glory. There are some people when they dress up, oh my God, they look glorious. Clothing is a weapon of beauty. Clothing covers your nakedness, meaning that it covers your shame. Zagarila drone de liga da sataragaba. Hear me, child of God. As the Lord liveth, as the Lord liveth. By the reason of this salt covenant, your glory will be preserved. By the reason of this salt covenant, your beauty will be preserved. By the reason of this salt covenant, your nakedness shall be covered. Your shame shall be taken away. In the name of Jesus, your glory will be preserved. Your beauty will be preserved. Your shame shall be taken away. Your nakedness shall be covered. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the reason of this salt covenant, every faded glory in your life shall be restored, shall be restored, child of God. Say it with me, because I have this sort covenant with Jehovah, my glory is restored, the glory of my children is restored, the glory of my husband is restored, the glory of my business is restored. My glory is restored, multiplied in the name of Jesus. The sort covenant tonight is empowering you. Masuse kalata irasande oshira leto ara relenta zagata shata luke ndabos. After tonight, the devil will be powerless when your matter is mentioned. Sickness will be powerless when you are involved. To the glory of God, masande oliga brota zakarasa. Frustration becomes illegal in your path. Hmm. Oh, every shaking marriage. Enough. Bring out your marriage certificate. Bring out some of your marriage pictures. Matakalata. Enough. Every shaking marriage in our midst. As we salt that covenant, the marriage will be sweet. The marriage will be restored. That relationship will be sweet. The spark will come back to it. In the name of Jesus, Satan and Dora Gabasi, Rales at the Kashuti, Lakatandi, landed documents, sold everything. Those land they say you will not build, 
The ones they say you will build, but it will not be sweet in your hand. Ah, letangale. They made a mistake. They waited for you to come to the prayer altar tonight. That is their mistake. Enough, 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 enough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sakatale, zokunto le kanta, ira prosale kosa ban kanta. Right in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out strong. You are coming out with laughter. You are coming out victorious. Your testimony cannot be stopped. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The frustration is over. The depression is over. The depression is over. The depression is over. That frustration is over. In the name of Jesus. You will walk upon your high places. You walk upon your high places. You didn't hear me. I said you will walk upon your high places. Now let me give you an advice. Most times, in all of our 40 days meetings, there comes to one particular night that will be different from all the nights. That particular night will just be harvesting testimonies for people here and there. If I were you after tonight, I will save this particular night's view. From time to time, I will go and revisit it. Because there is a shift. There is a shift. It's a season of testimony and nothing can stop it. You're going to assault your phone. Oh? Yes, that phone must give you good news. Your phone must bring good news to your ears. Enough! My led there. By the reason of the salt covenant. As I salt my phone. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news shall be my portion. Yes, 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 yes. Balata garata, the remaining days of this month, it shall be filled with good news. It shall be filled with good news. It shall be filled with good news in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say something to you. One of the things that causes the sheep to flow, float in the ocean or in the sea. Is the salt component and you may wonder how did i ever know if you happen to go to israel and you go to the dead sea the dead sea in israel is the lowest point of the earth that is the lowest point of the earth the dead sea is so much concentrated with salt that when you enter into the dead sea and you are there for a while the taste of salt will come to your mouth. You didn't drink the water, but your pores has taken in some. So you... And if you go to the Dead Sea, before you know it, when you are coming out, it treats your body. That's why you have the salt from the Dead Sea. You have the clay from the Dead Sea. It is used to treat the body to become very beautiful, very smooth. And the Dead Sea is one of the places people with sicknesses enter into the water and they come out healed. In fact, that is one of the places that brings so much money to Israel. They don't even allow you to take the Dead Sea water away. or the, You have to go to their shops and buy it from them. That is how important it is to them. Okay? Now, in the Dead Sea, it doesn't matter if you know how to swim or if you don't know how to swim. If you enter the Dead Sea, you cannot sink. It's not possible. You, can, you cannot sink. Because of the saltiness of the water, you find yourself floating. You find yourself floating. Hear me, child of God. By the reason of this salt covenant, you will no longer sink in life. You will no longer sink in life. Your business will no longer sink. Your children will not sink. Your spouses will not sink. Your home will not sink. In the name of Jesus, every sinking business jacks back to life. Every sinking family jacks back to life. Every sinking thing in your life that is not supposed to be sinking jacks back to life by the reason of this covenant. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Paro Sarakata. Let me congratulate you once again. Congratulations. If you believe me, say, I will not sink. <laughs> I will not sink. 
In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to give God praise. Begin to give the Lord praise. Thank the Lord for answered prayers. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Among their gods. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises, doing wonders. Who is like unto thee? Marota legera dando rodo kaleto. Hallelujah. Congratulations, children of God. Dominion to multiply has been given to you by the covenant of salt. From today, walk in the newness of knowledge, knowing that the covenant of salt is speaking for you. Walk in the newness of knowledge, knowing That that particular covenant that is speaking for you ensures that your testimony is permanent. Tonight is your night of laughter. Everybody in the past that has tried to stop your laughter they are the ones that will sink on your behalf. Father, we thank you for tonight. We give you praise. Awesome Jesus, we worship you. Build upon our prayers tonight. Thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence. We are very grateful. Father, we cover our prayers tonight with the blood of Jesus. We are very grateful. We are extremely grateful, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Abba Father. In Jesus' most powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Now hear me. Ensure you keep the salt of your covenant very well. Do you know why? Some of you will need to salt. You're going to salt your offices. You're going to go out. You're going to salt the earth. And you're going to tell the earth to be a witness that you're in the salt covenant with Jehovah. You're going to salt your properties. You're going to salt anything you're led to salt. Then you're going to put some of the salt in water. And you're going to drink from it. Or you're going to give any of your loved ones that is sick in any way to drink a bit of it. And their testimonies will shock you. By the reason of tonight's prayer, a lot of you will testify to the goodness of God. I see the Lord doing awesome, beautiful things in your lives to the glory of the living God. We cannot leave the prayer altar without saying Jesus must be famous. But know for sure that you are blessed. Your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. Whatever you lay your hands to do, is blessed from now on. The things that brought tears to your eyes before shall bring laughter to your lips to the glory of the living God. It is well with you and it is well with all your loved ones. I love you, but just know that Jesus loves you more. Hallelujah.